On New Year's Day, nearing midnight, Ron Turnbu says he was just about to get some sleep outside around Vandercook Way and 9th Avenue in Longview. He tells me he'd gotten up briefly when something was thrown in his direction. It was lit, and when it was lit, I uh, made a mistake of picking it up and it blew off my hand. Didn't know it was a pipe bomb until my hand exploded and my fingers were literally hanging from my hand from what was. Police say it was a tennis ball full of explosives. Ron says he ran to the nearest hospital more than a mile away. I know locations in Longview. St. John's Hospital saved my life. I move uh, very darn quick. From there, he was rushed to OHSU, where his hand had to be amputated. Early Sunday morning, Longview police arrested a 25-year-old man, charging him with second-degree assault for throwing the explosive. I'm still alive. I mean, I'm... I'm I can still function. If I need anything, hey, I've been able to with one hand. Though heartbroken over the incident, the way he was treated, Ron says he's trying to stay positive. There is a positive to this. This fight would happen. That doesn't mean life's not going to go on. It could have been somebody else, and I could have. If I stayed in the area of where it was, and if he threw another, that'd been it. I first heard about Ron's story um, and the details of what happened on Facebook. Um, somebody made a post, you know, saying uh, someone had been attacked, just knowing he's going to have such um, a road to recovery afterward and, and being homeless and dealing with that at the same time um, is just going to be probably impossible. Mandy Hart didn't know Ron, but she felt compelled to help starting a fundraiser and connecting him to resources like legal aid and housing. I just knew we have to act immediately and, and get some funds coming in and make some networking happen. With Ron currently staying in safe, temporary housing, they're working towards a long-term plan, figuring out next steps so he can get back on his feet. We can really, you know, do everything for Ron that he deserves. I'm trying to move forward and not move backwards. In just two days, more than 100 people have pitched into the GoFundMe campaign. So far, they've raised over $8,000. Part of the long-term goal for Ron is finding affordable, permanent housing.